When we talk about biosecurity as it pertains to chickens and chicken keeping, we are talking about minimizing the risk of exposure to outside pathogens and diseases for our chickens. And there are probably different levels of this that people take it to. So I'm just gonna put some information out there and as always, you do with it what you will. Well, bacteria and chicken illnesses spread in all sorts of ways. Some spread by via like infected mucus or droplets. Others are airborne. Some are passed by like wild mice and wild birds. So there are some cases when even with the absolute best biosecurity, wild birds bring it in. And unless you can protect your flock from uh, mice and wild birds, sometimes things just happen. That's not to say biosecurity isn't useful or necessary. It's just just putting it out there that it doesn't protect you from everything. Theoretically, to really protect our chickens from like outside pathogens coming in, like never mind the things that like wild birds and mice will bring in accidentally. But I'm talking like going to the feed store, going to farm swaps or whatever, and accidentally bringing home some sickness that somebody dropped off there via their shoes or their clothes or whatever. You would have to change your clothes at the front of the property, change your shoes at the front of the property, come home, wash your hands before you even set foot anywhere near your hoops. I suppose you could also have like protective clothing, like, like the kind of clothing that you have to wear in burn units and hospitals or whatever, um, protective boots you could wear over your shoes every time before you go into your chicken coops. Also though, you could have like a shoe washing station. Some people use bleach in these stations. I'm not convinced that bleach, I, I'm, it's not just that I'm not convinced, I know that bleach doesn't kill every pathogen. It doesn't kill Newcastles. I'm not even sure if it kills avian influenza, but something like Oxine will. Spraying down your shoes with something like Oxine would kill things on the bottom of them. The questions about, can my family visit and this, that, and the other. Now, of course, like any outside thing being brought in and around your chickens poses a potential risk. High risks are other people with chickens. High risks are people who are coming through, like we've talked about, feed stores, farm swaps, things like that. Typically our family who visits does not possess any of those risks. So you can use your own meter about what you need to do for biosecurity with those types of family and friends. For me, fortunately, our little plot of land is big enough where my house is in one area and my chicken coops are in another area. So I could have family here around my house, but not necessarily in my chicken coops. Other biosecurity measures to consider are things like buying from trusted NPIP breeders, being mindful of new genetics that you bring in. I think that hatching eggs are the safest way to go to prevent the spread of disease. Um, personally, and there's no judgment here, but I don't attend things like farm swaps or auctions and there is no shade on that. I just feel like, like those places are really uh, breeding grounds for diseases and illness. I have shoes that I wear in my chicken coops and nowhere else. And in general, I just minimize my exposure to other birds and areas where birds traffic through frequently. I also don't do things to attract wild birds to my property. I don't have bird feeders up. I try to minimize feed on the ground outside. I will only put out as much food as chickens can eat within like 30 minutes. That's the rule of thumb. But I'm just saying, so there's not a lot of leftover food left over on the ground, especially outside, because that's the kind of stuff that attracts wild birds too. And I'm mindful of where I'm coming from and what I'm wearing into my coops and chicken yards.